So I've had a little bit of a change to my uh, approach to photography hiking recently. First pull is new bag. What's that attached to it? Yeah, a tripod. Something I haven't used for quite a long time when it comes to photography. I've also got a new lens, so I'll introduce that to you later as well. But I fancy a new approach today. Today is all about the photography, in particular black and white photography, because the conditions lead to some good mono photography in my opinion. Of course, I need the subject. That behind me is brewing nicely. And it caught my eye walking up to the first fell of the day. What appealed to me is the shapes of the fells, but also the structure of the pine trees as well in the distance. As I was walking up, the fingers of Blencathra were nicely shrouded in some low lying cloud. Unfortunately, oh, I say unfortunately, it appears to have come back. So, without further ado, I'm going to get the 100 to 400 out and see what I can find. Right, okay, so a quick swap over from the 24 to 105, which I've recently purchased by the way, and on to the 100 to 400. And what I'm going to do, like I said, the start of the video is use a tripod. Now just over a year ago from when this is going to be released I posted a video around black and white photography entitled why? Why I shoot black and white photography? Well this video is about what I look for. Key things really. Shapes, geometry, textures. But there's got to be mood. So as you know if you follow my channel I predominantly, predominantly shoot handheld photography. However, today I thought, I've got a new bag, let's attach the tripod to it and go back to how it was and there's no harm in that. I just like how you compose a scene, compose the subject, a bit like an artist, I've said that before, an artist and he's easel. You can take your time, wait for the optimum, optimum conditions it's not necessary because a tripod I mean I'm shooting at what, what am I shooting here quite fast actually yeah 1 60th of a second so I can get away with that but I'm just waiting waiting for the right up to a moment so why not right in terms of what I'm shooting I've converted the profile by the way to black and white that way I'll get a good idea um, I'll put the video on, so basically a play of shapes. You've got Dodd in the left hand side, square crop is what I'm looking at at the moment as well. Dodd on the left hand side, that's got that nice bell shape, so again, some nice geometry. And you've got another geometry as well, the tops of the pine trees. And of course then, you've got the nice mood in the background. Now the light has come out as well, you can probably see it's looming in my face, so I'm gonna change the exposure. Now there's a new element just being introduced into this scene, so I might have to pull it back a bit. Some lovely shapes of clouds. So if I just zoom back and include those into the frame, might, that's gonna add a, another dimension. Black and white, get some lovely textures of black and white for the clouds. So, shapes, geometry, nice bit of balance. Square crop as well. Right, confession time, I've uh, taken the camera off the tripod because of course when you're zooming in and what, I'm at 200 mil at the moment, the movement of the camera is emphasized. So I'm not gonna risk it. I've taken it off, I'm gonna shoot handheld because it's quite breezy. I should explain that before. Yeah, it's quite breezy, so it's creating a lot of movement. Now, the scene is just developing. I just love this. Position yourself in one place. I've been about half an hour just looking out at the scene. It's all developing. Nice bit of mood again. 
got again some nice um, pines, I believe the pines, to so open it up. And you've got the fell on the right hand side. A couple of curves going on here, still on square crop. Let's get some of this in here. Nice weaving shapes. And also, I'm looking for a good balance of tonal quality as well. A nice selection of whites and blacks. And it's all about proportion as well. For me, it's important to have a good proportion of black and white. Too often I see black and white photography where there's too much grey mid-tones. It just doesn't work for me. Right. I'm going to move on now to my next fell, which is Ling Fell. So I'm going to come down from Sail Fell and see what is an offer on the way as well. That all rhymes, doesn't it? So I'm just taking a rest. About to tuck into my peanut butter sandwich on my way up to Ling Fell. Now, one of the key elements of successful black and white photography is the use of contrast. Uh, and what I mean by that is use of whites and the blacks as well. Now, in the Lake District, the fells in particular, looking around you, you've got options. You've got white buildings, which is loads here from where, I, where I'm sitting. However, it's not quite a composition I can find. There is, in the far distance, a wind farm, the turbines, where there is a background across the... Uh, Solway Firth, so that's an option. However, another option is what is frequently walking around the fells. Sheep, sheep are white, whitish. Some are muckier than others. But coming down from Sell Fell uh, again in the distance, there's a, a group of sheep, and they're using the background as well the geometry the shapes in the background and the sheep are nicely spread out again that's creating some nice white proportion and also contrast as well yeah balaclavas on it's cold right looking behind me there's a squall just moving along the solway firth and in the foreground, the turbines are lit. So I'm just going to wait for the optimum moment and hopefully I can get a shot. So I'm going to give the tripod another go. Reason being is because I have seen the composition and I think it'll benefit from the right amount of light. And it's weaving in and out. It's basically um, a group of pines which are separated away from the main copse of trees. You've got this satellite but then you've got um, prominent peaks in the background and of course you've got the moody clouds. I'm experimenting at different focal lengths. On my 200 zoom in, 300 just isolate it even more. So you've got your contrast with the darkness from the dark green of the pine against the light greens of the grass which is creating that grey. See the tripod, it's shaking, it's shaking. Perhaps I need to tighten the head up, I don't know. But again, I'm just going to take the camera off. If I'm honest, I will always have a preference handheld. No doubt about it. Especially when it's windy like this. It's got to be right for tripods. Got to be right. Perhaps today wasn't the right day. Right, it's about one o'clock. I'm not driving all this way from Yorkshire just to do two small fells. So I'm going to head back in the car, head down the road. It's my third fell of the day. Wind ladder. So I know the way then.
So I'm parked at Thornthwaite, made way up through the lovely Thornthwaite forest, lovely plantation. And now I'm finally through this little gate on to the fell wind ladder. Quite a pull. Right. See what this brings me. So for the first time today, I'm putting on the 24 to 105. In terms of photography, uh, photography being dominated by the 100 to 400. So here we go. See what we can get from this. At the moment in time, the best scenery, I say the best scenery, it's probably not, because that's lighting up as well. But it's dominated really, uh, looking south towards Grisdale Pike. But there is light everywhere, the right hand side as well. So I'm hoping, hoping we can get some here. Advice, best advice. If you want to take a photograph, turn the camera on. Okay, so already looking towards Blencathra, you've got the outline of uh, the plantation. We got light beyond there, so that could definitely work. Definitely work. Lovely clouds that just spin you around. Eh? Uh, wide angle, look at them clouds. Beautiful detail. So all's hell valley in the Dodds, Derwent Water. Oh, good clouds. That light there, band of light. Right, so I'll probably go all the way in at 100. Let's have a look. So it's pretty similar goings on in terms of choice of photography uh, to what I, what I was doing back then up Sail Fell and Ling Fell. Look at it, geometry. Look at it. Interlinking geometry. What I mean by that is you've got the foreground sloping trees on the plantation and that's echoed in the background as well with the fells in this case the side of Blen Cathra but these clouds are really dominating it so you've got the darkness of the trees you've got a lightness of the fell and then you've got the lightness of the cloud as well really had to underexpose slightly um, yeah, that's Grisdale. That's not doing anything because there's no light on it. Ooh, flash of light. Okay, so again, something slightly different today. Rather than bringing the PD clip, I brought the strap instead. So that's got the 24 to 105 on. So it's on hand. It's on hand. Because the light seems to be getting better. Right, near there. Made it, wind ladder top, third fell of the day, and the light is still going on. I don't think there's much alternative to what I've already shot, to be honest. Beautiful stuff. Right, okay. Hope you enjoy this episode. Just sharing my love of black and white photography. And here's the final gallery. Just for a go, remember, black and white photography should not be an afterthought. Bye-bye for now. Keep smiling.